Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Comic Book Historians. Today we're talking about the importance of Philip Wiley to the superhero comic book genre. In a previous episode from Pulps of Superheroes, we briefly mentioned one of Philip Wiley's works as an influence on Superman. However, let's dig a little bit deeper. Philip Wiley had a significant contribution to comic book strip pop culture through his pulp era science fiction novels. Although Philip himself was not trying to make new characters that would be promoted as continuing characters used for repeated popular consumption, his one-and-done books of speculative fiction is thought to have inspired young comic creators to produce works that took certain concepts directly from his stuff to make characters we know and love today. The three works we'll focus on are Gladiator from 1930, which is thought to be an influence on Superman, The Savage Gentleman from 1932, which is thought to be an influence on Doc Savage and then Superman, and When Worlds Collide 1933, which is thought to be an influence on Flash Gordon, shown in a new strip to comic book episode, was a precursor to many superhero concepts. Although the 1920s were pretty much over and the Great Depression started in 1929, one concept that survived into the 1930s was science fiction with social commentary, and that was shown in these three stories. Now, Gladiator in 1930 was one of the various influences on a young Jerry Siegel. Before he wrote and co-created Superman, which premiered in 1938, Action Comics No. 1. The main character's father is a professor who experiments on his wife's fetus, giving his baby boy brought up in Colorado super strength as it creates a difficulty fitting in with the world. It is a darker tale than Superman with no vigilantism or costumes, where he deals with the consequences of his superior strength with accidental murder, social awkwardness, and eventually hates humanity and God so much he gets struck down by lightning. That being said, he was similar to Superman by being from the middle of America with unbreakable skin, impenetrable to bullets, incredibly stronger than normal humans, outrunning trains, and leaps 50 feet in the air in a single bound. Some sources say Jerry Siegel had documented his love of Gladiator, and other places say no such evidence exists, but still, the similarities between Gladiator and Superman, strikingly similar and worthy of discussion. The Savage Gentleman by Wiley, 1932, is a plot character precursor to Doc Savage, 1933. The concept that is interesting here is that a man takes his son away to a tropical island and trains him to be a bronze hair, mahogany skin, perfect man, tall, strong, and incredibly intelligent, who returns to civilization with his father's fortune. Although he does not fight crime or get in a costume, he instead tries to figure out his place with the opposite sex. Lester Dent, the writer, instills a very similar origin to Doc Savage, named Clark Savage Jr., whom his father assembled scientists to create the perfect son, who is a detective, adventurer, scientist, martial artist, who uses his abilities to solve crimes and fights criminals as a perfect hybrid of Sherlock Holmes and Tarzan. Doc Savage is also referred to as a Superman in his third adventure. Jerry Siegel has actually mentioned that he did read Doc Savage and did name his own Superman character with the first name Clark as well. If you remember from the Doc Savage episode, him and his fabulous five are a precursor to many comic book characters like Superman, Batman, the Fantastic Four, and some of the X-Men. The savage gentleman origin of a professor making his son perfect in isolation of other humans was a plot vehicle that was also used in Private Strong 1959 by Jack Kirby and Joe Simon, and Alan Moore and Chris Sprouse's Tom Strong in 1999. It's also suggested that Wiley's When Worlds Collide, 1933, is a plot character precursor to Alex Raymond's Flash Gordon Sunday Strip in 1934. This story is about a South African astronomer who sees that a pair of rogue planets will enter the solar system in eight months and cause complete and total damage. An athletic hero, girlfriend, and third-wheel scientist rocket to the oncoming planet. This trio of character types was used in Alex Raymond's Flash Gordon 1934 as the athletic hero Flash Gordon, his girlfriend Dale Arden, and the scientist Hans Zarkov. As we discussed in the newspaper strip to comic book episode, there were several characters and costumes from Flash Gordon that were later emulated for comic books during the Golden and Silver Age, including Batman, Green Lantern, Captain Marvel, and Hawkman. Additionally, they try to rocket from a doomed planet to a habitable one, which is used by Jerry Siegel in Superman's origin story. 
Although there are critical similarities found in Philip Wiley's work in later pulp and superhero or newspaper strip stories, his work can be considered science fiction or even further removed as speculative fiction, where a sci-fi ingredient is merely used as a technique to explore human nature. Although thoughtful in their own way, the sci-fi ingredients used in his stories are undeniably similar to a later more famous story like Superman or others like Doc Savage, Flash Gordon, whom together all define the super or sci-fi hero that would be emulated in the gold and silver and later ages of comic books. Cheers.